out to the All teachers right. and what they do and they Welcome and everybody to Wednesday Night In. Everybody here in the studio are already laying on their back. So that's where you're going to go if you're watching at home. Let yourself lay on the back. Take a moment. Just bring your focus to your breath. Right? You have to control your breath and yin. Not too much, right? Because we're not trying to move with our breath. But we do want to bring that awareness to the breath. Notice your breath. Breath guide you around to your mat. <coughs> so all other distractions fade to the background. Breath draws you to full focus on your mat, your practice. It draws you to full presence on your mat, your practice. ready to start moving here, right? I want you to do it first. Make sure your left leg extends all the way long if it wasn't already. And just take your right knee. Hug it in to your chest. And we're going to do a lot of twisting today. So we're going to get our joints ready for that. Let's stir the pot with the right knee. You're just going to bring it over towards the inside of your body. Push it away. Raise the outside and then bring it back around. Right? So you're just drawing a little circle up on the ceiling with your knee. There are four circles right here. Hug your knee into the chest. Now go the other way, right? So first you're going to take your right knee over the outside of your body, push it away, brings the inside of your body, and hug it back in. So same circles, just go in the opposite direction. Two, three, four right here. all the way in. Right now you're going to let your right arm go out long. Put your palm down the mat. Take your left hand to the outside of your right knee. Right? We're starting with that first little twist here. You're going to draw that right knee over towards the left side of your body. It doesn't have to hit the ground. You can tell that mine's not, right? Take your gaze over your right shoulder. So reach that right arm straight out. Bring that right knee over towards the left side of the body, pushing down the right knee with the left hand. You might start to feel a little sensation in that right hip. It's okay, that's what we want. Let's stay here for a super long time first, just enough to open up. Let's take three more breaths here. And you're gonna pull that knee back in. Right, give another hug into your chest and then let's switch out our legs, right? So take your left or your right leg long, right? Push your heel into the mat and then take your left knee and hug it into your chest. And let's do those circles here with the left knee. You're going to let that left knee go towards the inside of your body, push it away, bring it to the outside, pull it in, circling around here. 
three or four times. And then bring it to a stop. Now let's circle it the other way, right? So you're first going to go to the outside of your body, then away into the inside and back in. So just reversing direction with those same circles. that knee back in. Now we're going to twist with that left knee, right? So you're going to let your left arm go out long, come straight out of your shoulder blade, take your right hand to the outside of your left knee, guide the left knee over to the right side of your body, take your chin, your gaze over your left shoulder. Once again, you're going to start to feel that sensation in your left hip. That's what we're going for here. Doesn't matter if your knees and hit the ground, you just pull it down, bring it as far over as you can without rolling to your right side, right? You want to keep your left shoulder anchored, keep that right hip on the ground. Two more breaths. And then take that left knee up and back into your chest. And then from there, you're gonna bring the right knee in to join us. Now you're hugging both knees in to your chest. Take your hands to the crease of your knees and just rock yourself up. We're gonna come up into an easy sit, right? So we're gonna do this same thing twice on each side. So it doesn't matter which leg you put in front right now, whichever one's more comfortable to you. That's the one you want to go in front now. We're gonna do a couple poses here, then we'll switch out and put the other leg in front, all right? So as you inhale here, just take your hands up to the sky. And then as we exhale, we're going to twist to the right. So you're going to drop your right hand back behind you. Take your left hand outside your right knee and just look all over your right shoulder. Now untwist here. Take your hands back up to the sky. And as you exhale, go the other way. Drop your left hand back behind you. Take your right hand outside your left knee. Look over your left shoulder. And twist here, bring both hands back up to the sky, reach your hands up, and then as you exhale, you're just going to fold forward, drop your hands in front of your shins, and just walk as far forward as you can, keeping those hips on the ground, right? Maybe you can get down to your elbows, maybe some of you flexible people can get all the way down to your chest or your head, right? but you want to keep those hips anchored to the ground so you feel that pull in them. Just take a couple breaths here. back up here. Now, as we come back up, like I said before, we're going to switch our legs. We're just going to do all those same things again with our awkward leg in front. So your awkward leg is whichever leg your body didn't actually want to put in front, right? We're going to even everything out by doing those poses again with the awkward leg in front. So as you inhale, you're taking your hands up to the sky. As you exhale, we're just going to twist to the right again. Drop your right hand back behind you. Take your left hand outside your right knee. Look over your right shoulder. Come back up to center here. As we exhale now, we're going to go the other way. You're going to drop your left hand back behind you. Take your right hand outside your left knee. Look over your left shoulder. And twist here. Bring it all back up to center. And then this time, as you exhale one more time, you're just going to drop those hands in front of your left shin and walk it forward. back up. All right. And now we're going to come around. We're going to come into tabletop, right? So maybe you roll right over your knees. Maybe you've got to swing them back behind you, unwind, and then come. But come into tabletop. Come into this cat cow. I mean, cat, we are going to do cat cows, but from tabletop first, right? Where you've got your shoulders over your wrists, your hips over your knees. Get your hands shoulder width distance apart. Get your knees hip width distance apart. And we're going to take a couple cat cows here at first, right? So you 
As you inhale, you're gonna lift your chin to the sky, tuck your tailbone under, let your belly drop, that's your cat, right? And then as you exhale, you're gonna tuck your chin to your chest, round your back, hollow out your armpits, that's your cat, right? So we're flexing and extending the spine. So that's your cow and your cat. Just move through it at your own pace. Be going faster or slower than me. Faster or slower than anybody else here. Just try to find your own rhythm. Take a few more rounds. And eventually we're going to be back in tabletop. Now, as we come to tabletop here, you're going to take your right hand. Reach it up to the sky. Okay, so you're reaching towards the right side of the room, reach your fingertips as high as you can. As you exhale, dive your right fingertips underneath your left armpit. Let your right shoulder come all the way to the ground. Let the right side of your head come to the ground so you're looking to the left. Right? And then with your left hand, either you're going to reach forward, fingertips towards the front of your mat, opening up your left chest, or if you'd rather, you can take that left hand and wrap it around behind your back. Reach towards your right inner thigh. Open up that left shoulder a little bit. But mostly, you're going to feel this in your right shoulder. Now, if you want to step out with your left foot, you can. Step that left foot out. Look this way, see if I can escape. Look this, right? So either you step that left foot out so that your left toes are pointed towards the front of the room, your fingertips, your right fingertips are pointing towards the arch of your left foot, or you can lift your left heel and let your left toes point towards your right fingertips. Right? You're trying to spiral your chest up to the sky here, right? And when you step your foot out, you can do that a little bit more you got to keep those heels, or that, I mean not the heels, the toes or the whole foot anchored to the ground to really get that leverage to push yourself open. Right? Step wherever you want to be. It's good. You don't have to step that left foot out at all. You can keep that left foot in. Let's see if we have another exhale here. Try to feel comfortable, right? Not to struggle. Toes you can relax into. Toes that make everything feel good. From here, we're going to start to come out of this. If you step your left foot out, step it back in, right? And then wherever your right hand is, I mean your left hand, sorry, bring it back by your face. Use it to push up. You want to unthread that right arm, open that right arm back up to the sky, right? And then from there, you're going to take it back down into tabletop. All right, so let's do all that on the other side. This time, you're going to take your left hand, reach it up to the sky, and then from there, you're going to dive those left fingertips underneath your right armpit, let your left shoulder come down to the ground, let the left side of your head come to the ground, and then take your right hand and reach it forward, or you can wrap it behind your back. If you want to step out with that right foot, and you can, either planting that right foot on the ground with your right toes pointed forward, or turning your right toes so they point towards your left fingertips. Okay, lots of options here. It doesn't have to be exactly the same on this side that it was on the other side. Okay, play with it here, see what feels good to you. Find your version.
And then from here, you take that right foot. If you step it out, step it back in. Bring the right hand back by your face. Use that right hand to unthread your left arm. Bring it back up to the sky. Come back down into tabletop. All right, from our tabletop here. Right, now we're gonna come to a kneeling runner's lunge. Right, so take your right foot, step it out to the right. Right, take your right hand, wrap it behind your back, and then just bring that right foot next to your left hand. Right, and then you're gonna unwind your right hand, let your right hand come outside your right foot. Now, think about that left knee, move it back a little bit, right? Tuck your left toes under, start to slide that left knee back just a little bit, so that your left knee is back behind your left hip, all right? Now, this is a little bit funky what we're gonna do here, right? I want you to take your right foot and just move it back a little bit so that it's back behind your wrist, right? So your knee's coming past your ankle and that's okay, right? Once you get there, you're gonna take both hands to the inside of the right foot, right? So your hands are both to the inside of the foot, your toes are just behind your wrist if they were in a straight line, right? Now, turn your right toes out to the right. And then from there, you're gonna take your right hand, bring it to the inside of your right knee, and just push that right knee open. So maybe even come up here to the knife edge of your right foot, right? If that doesn't feel good, you can keep your foot down, down flat down, and keep your right hand where it was, next to your left, be right here, right? You can start to drop that left hip towards the ground. I don't know if you guys can see it. I'm gonna drop my left hip towards the ground as I'm pushing my right foot open, right? You can add all that or none of that. It's up to you, what feels good. I'm not gonna stay as long here, just another three or four breaths. it open, drop your right hand back down. Right, so now you're looking towards the front of the room, your hands are just on the inside of your right foot. Turn those right toes back towards the front of the room, right? So I've still got my hands just a little bit to the inside of the right foot, and my right foot's still just behind my right wrist. Now what I want you to do here, start to walk your right foot over to your left wrist, and then you're gonna let that right knee drop down to the mat. All right, if you wanna come to pigeon here, you can come to pigeon, it means you tuck those left toes under, to move that left hip back, drop that left hip towards your left, or towards your right heel, right? So you're here, your hands are inside your right knee still, right? So you're here. Now, in your full pigeon, you can come down to your elbows if you want to, right? We're gonna add on to this in a second, not in a second, but more like a minute, right? But come into your version of pigeon here. If you don't like pigeon and you wanna make a deer, you can still make a deer drop down to your right hip, bend into your left knee. Bring that left knee to the sole of the right foot. Then you bring your hands to the, just in front of your right shin, and you walk it forward there. Right, so both good options. All right, so whether you're in pigeon or you're in deer, stay here. Another minute or so, then we add on. Stay there for now. But if you're a deer, right, what you're gonna do is you're gonna come to twisted deer. You're gonna bring your hands outside your right thigh. So both hands are between your right knee and your right hip. And you're gonna walk it out there. If you're in pigeon, right, and this feels okay to you, what I want you to do is come up to your palms and then take your left arm. You're gonna slide that left arm underneath your right armpit, right towards, so you're gonna walk those right toes towards the left side of the room. Let your left shoulder come down, let your head come down so you're looking to the right, and then you take that right hand and you just reach it forward. Just like in Thread the Needle, right? You can always wrap that right hand around your back if you want to. So just adding a little twist in our pigeon. Now, if you don't like that, right? 
pigeon was good, but the twisted pigeon isn't good, then just drop in a deer right, and come to your twisted deer. Four more press here. When you're ready, you're going to pull that right hand back in. So you're going to unthread your left arm. Just come back up to your palms, right? If you're in twisted deer, just bring your hands in front of your right shin. Now, everybody's going to drop down to their right hip here. Right? And then we're going to bring our left leg around. So you're going to end up in a half butterfly here with your right sole of your right foot against your left inner thigh. Right? So again, first we're just going to do a simple half butterfly forward fold here. You're going to angle yourself toward your right leg. Or sorry, left leg. Left leg. So this right knee still bent. And you're just going to start to walk forward over that left leg. Right? And again, maybe you grab onto your foot, or you grab onto your ankle, your shin, your knee. You can have your hands on your legs or just on either side of your leg. You're trying to keep your back nice and flat. Just drawing your chest as far forward as you can. As we feel this stretch in the left hamstring. slowly start to walk it up here right now you're gonna stay where you are we're just gonna add on to this right so you're gonna bring both hands outside your left leg right? so now you're twisting slightly to the left right and then again you're gonna walk your hands out along the outside of your left leg as long as you can right so I get my hands maybe to my left ankle right maybe if you're really flexible you can grab on to the outside of that left foot but it needs to be comfortable with your hands are just by your left knee. That's okay. Right? But we're twisting that torso slightly. Again, you're keeping your back flat. If your chest was going to lay flat, it would kind of lay at a diagonal over towards the left side of the room. It doesn't have to lay flat. Four more breaths here. yourself back up. All right. Now, as you come back up here, you're going to keep your right leg right where it is. Right? You're just going to take that left knee, bend into it. Take your left foot, see if you can bring all the way around and step it over outside your right thigh. Right? So you look like this. We're going to twist here. We're going to twist to the left. Right? See how I started out with everything straight ahead and now I'm not really straight ahead anymore and that's okay. Right? If you need to here, right? If you're going to die with your right leg, you can always let that right leg straighten out here and you're stepped out. So you like this, right? So I'm gonna straighten everything out just so you guys can see. So I could be here, right? My right knee is still bent. I've got that, that right knee in against my left hip. Now we're gonna to twist to the left, right? So you're gonna take your left hand, drop it back behind you, and then with your right hand, you can either hug around your left knee, look over your left shoulder if it's available to you and it feels good. Maybe you take that left elbow and hook it over your left knee.
they are for now, right? Just turn your torso back towards your knees. Now here's what we're gonna do here, right? If you've got that right knee still bent, and this is, feels okay to you, you're gonna grab a hold of your left ankle and just bring that left ankle outside, your right hip. So your knees stack on top of each other, each heel is outside the opposite hip. And so it's like this, right? This is the cow face pose. Now, again, if this isn't comfortable to you, you can keep that left foot planted like we just had it, or you can just come into easy sit. Just make sure that your left knee, your left shin, I should say, is in front if you're coming to easy sit, right? So either way, our left leg is the one on top, all right? Now, you're gonna bring your arms into cactus arms here, right? And then we're gonna bring them in front of us. Your left elbow is gonna cross underneath the right. And you can just grab your opposite shoulders here, right? If you wanna to go to eagle arms, you can press the backs of your palms together. You can get that full double wrap, press your palms together, right? And then we're gonna lean forward. Right? So you lean forward. Now, if you're in eagle arms, right, you're trying to get those elbows to go over your left knee. Right? Maybe that didn't happen. If you're just grabbing opposite shoulders, you're just pushing that chest forward, maybe the belly can lay on the left thigh. Round down here a little bit if you want to tuck your chin to your chest, press your forehead against your wrists. Three more breaths. And then slowly come on up. Now as we come all the way up here, you're gonna unwind your arms, unwind your legs, right? So now your legs are just both gonna come straight in front of you, right? And then you're just gonna kind of patty kick them. I'm gonna come sideways here so you guys can see. Right, so I'm just gonna lift them up and down. Okay, going back on in those legs. All right, now from here, we're gonna bring it back around into tabletop. Okay, so we gotta do all those things on the other side. All right, so come into your tabletop. Now from your tabletop, you're gonna take your left leg, step it out to the left. Okay, and then you take that left hand, wrap it around behind your back. Bring your left foot, step it next to your right hand. All right. Drop your left hand down outside your left foot at first, right? Tuck those right toes under. Move that right knee back a little bit so it's right not, not right underneath your hip as we start out here. Right. And then you're gonna draw that left foot a little bit back, right? So it's back behind your wrists. And then bring that left hand to the inside of your left foot. So if I had my wrist right in front of my left toes, my toes would be behind my left wrist. I mean, that doesn't make sense. Of course, it was meant to be behind, right? But you want to line it up like that so that your hand could just slide in a straight line and not hit your left foot, right? Now take your left toes, turn them out to the left. And again, from here, you can stay right here, right? If you want to take your left hand and push that left knee open, you can. If you want to start to drop your right hip towards the ground, you can, right? Maybe you come down here to your right elbow. That's an option. If you have a block, you can land that elbow on the block. Maybe you want to stay on your palm. That's all good too. You don't have to add this push, right? You can keep your foot flat on the ground and both hands on the ground. Four more breaths here. Bring that left hand back down, put your left foot back on the ground. Right. Turn your left toes back from the front of the room. Now your hands are still to the inside of your left leg. Your left toes are still back behind your wrists. You're gonna start to walk now that left foot over to the front right edge of your mat. And then let your left knee come down. And then from there, tuck your right toes under, start to move the right knee back. So you're dropping into your pigeon. 
If it feels good to you, pressing the right hip towards your left heel, keeping some space there underneath the left hip. You can stay on your palms, you can come down to your elbows, you can come all the way to your chest. If pigeon is not your jam, you're dropping down to your left hip and you're pulling that right knee against the sole of the left foot, bringing your hands in front of your left shin once you're there and walking forward like that. Two different options here. Find which one feels good to you. We're staying here, just this regular pigeon for another minute or so before we add that twist. Come back up to your palms here, right? If you're a deer, you're just gonna come to that twisted deer, bringing your hands outside your left thigh and then walking it forward from there, right? If you wanna try the twisted pigeon, then you're gonna take your right hand now, slide it underneath your left armpit, put your right shoulder from all the way to the mat, take your head down to the mat so you're looking to the right, and then take that left hand and reach it forward. So this is the twisted pigeon. Here, twisted deer. So you're just bringing both hands outside the thigh and walking it forward here. Now, when you're ready to come out of this, we're going to draw that left hand back in by your face, push up, and thread that right arm. Right. Now, if you're in, if you're in deer, you're going to bring your hands back around in front of your left shin. Right. If you're in pigeon, you got to let that left hip come back down to the ground. Your left shin still going across. Right. You're going to take your right foot and swing it forward so that you end up in this half butterfly. So the left foot against the right inner thigh. Right. And then we're going to angle ourselves towards the right leg. So you're just gonna take your basic half butterfly forward fold here at first. Just walk straight over the right leg, hands on either side of the right leg. You can grab all the way on to your foot. You can do that, your, your ankle, your shin, your knee, that's fine. Or just rest your hands on either side of the leg. Right? Don't tuck your chin here. Don't round your back out, trying to get your head to your leg, right? Just bring your chest as far forward over your leg as you can. Right, so I'm gonna just take a minute here. Now we're slowly going to peel.
heel up here, right? And your hands are going to be at the top of your right thigh. So it's a slight turn of your chest towards the right side of the room, right? And your hands are going to slide along outside your right leg as you come forward, right? You need to get all the way to where you're grabbing the outside edge of your right foot. Again, maybe your hands are just pressing against the outside of your ankle, and your guys can't really see it here on the angle, or outside your right ankle, or your shin, or pressing against your knee, right? It's like if you did get your forehead to the ground here, you come out at an angle. slowly peel up here so come all the way up right now you're gonna keep that left knee bent right and you're gonna bend into your right knee see if you can take that right foot step it over outside your left leg here now from there we're gonna twist to the right so you're just gonna bring your right hand back behind you your left hand either hugs around your right knee or you hook that right elbow over Either way, you're looking over your right shoulder. here. Bring everything back around so you're just facing your knees, right? Your shoulders and your knees are lined up with each other. Now we're going to come into our shoelace here. If that feels good to you, now you could just stay right here with your right foot stepped over your left. If it feels okay, grab a hold of your right ankle with your left hand and pull that left knee down towards your right knee. Pull that left heel back towards your right hip. So you're trying to get your knees as stacked on top of each other as they can be. Right? I'm not as good on this side as I was on the other side. I got more space here, but it still feels okay to me, so I'm going to hang out here. Right? If it doesn't feel okay to you, remember you can either plant that right foot flat on the ground, or you can come to easy sit, just making sure that your right foot is in front. Okay, so these are all options. Otherwise, you've got opposite heel outside the opposite hip, knee stack on top, of, on top of each other with the right knee on top. Now come to your cactus arms here, and then you're going to swing your arms in front of you this time. You're bringing that right elbow underneath the left. Right, so you're here. Now again, you could just grab opposite shoulders. Could be this. Or if you want to go into full eagle, arm, eagle arms, you can take the wrap, like double wrap, because your palms are together, or single wrap, just the back of your hands are pressing together. Whatever feels good to you. However you are, right, you start to bow forward, bringing your belly towards that right leg. So if, you've been, if you're in eagle arms, you hook those elbows over your right knee, go for it. Right? If you're just grabbing opposite shoulders, just think about pressing your belly to your right thigh. Okay, maybe those elbows will come over, maybe not. Got a minute here.
slowly start to peel up. All right, this time as you peel up, you're gonna unwind everything, right? Let your hands come back behind you and then unwind your legs. Just plant your feet on the ground. Take your feet wide to the edges of your mat, right? And then you're just gonna windshield wipe your legs back and forth here. So you're just letting both knees fall over to the right, bringing it back to center, right? fall to the left. So you're just going back and forth, back and forth. Do that a couple more times. All right, and then we're gonna meet back in our hook line, right? That means your knees are up to the sky, your feet are on the ground. You're gonna come, make sure your feet are all the way at the top of your mat, and then we're gonna lie down on our back again, right? So you take your arms out long, tuck your chin, round yourself down. Now as you get all the way down here, we're gonna do those windshield wipers again, but this time we're gonna do them while we're lying down. So you're gonna bring your feet wide to the edges of your mat. This time I want you to either take your arms out to a T, right, or go, or go back to those cactus arms where your elbows are bent and your palms are up to the sky. You're gonna to start to windshield wipe your legs back and forth here. So your right leg is closer to you. Now you can stay right here, just curling those knees in, squeezing the inner thighs together. If you want to, you can lift up your hands and grab those opposite ankles. So you're grabbing your right ankle with your left hand and your left ankle with your right hand. Pull those ankles out to the sides as you pull your knees in closer to you. Feel the deeper stretch in that right hip. Let's pick a clip. do that same thing on the other side. So you're going to pick your left foot up and just cross your left knee over your right. So that right foot's still on the ground. So you just drape that left knee over the right. And then from there, you take your arms out to either 
T position, come straight out of the shoulder blades, or to cactus arms, right? Bending, get that, that elbow to come straight out of the shoulder, palms towards the sky. Now use your right knee here, guide both knees over to the right as you look to the left. So stay here for a minute. You can always take your right hand, push down on those knees if that feels better. Like I said before, you want to keep that left shoulder anchored. Looking to the left. From here, you're going to pull both knees back up. And then once your knees are up to the sky, lift that left foot, no, your right foot, sorry. Pull those knees in towards your chest. And then you can just stay right here, pulling those knees in. Or if you want to go to full paper, lift, lift up your arms, grab your left ankle with your right hand, your right ankle with your left hand. Keep pulling those knees closer to your body. Keep pulling your, el your ankles further away from each other, from, from your body. So you get that deep sensation. In the left hip. From here, release your legs, drop that right foot back down to the mat, and then take that left foot over, bring it to join. So you're back here in this constructive breast pose. We're going to start to set up here for our final pose, our shavasana, right? So you can stay right here if you love it. You can extend your legs long, right? You can let your knees fall in against each other. You can butterfly your legs if you want to. You can roll to your belly or roll to your side. Just find that place where you want to be place where you're going to be able to be perfectly comfortable, where you're going to be able to stay perfectly still, and most importantly, that place where your mind is going to be able to go perfectly quiet. I'm going to come around, you, those of you that are in the studio, spray your towel with some, whatever I find, sea salt, <laughs> a little rosemary, a little mint, a little citrus, oils in here. dark room, the quiet room, the soft music, the nice smelling, smelling spray, but you don't need any of that to take your shavasana. You want to let yourself withdraw from your senses. So wherever you are, if there was loud music, there was a bright room, there was a not so nice smelling thing in the room. Notice all that. Because your senses aren't turned off. They would, they would alert you to all those things. But what you wouldn't happen is you wouldn't react to those things. So let your breath take you to that place. Let your breath guide you there. Try to control your breath. Keep that full focus there. Let your breath take you right to a place there's nothing left in your mind but you and your breath and that's your true quiet mind
and slowly start to come back into the room. Wiggle your fingers, your toes, feeling that increased sensation that comes with a quiet mind. If you want to here, take your arms overhead, do a nice full deep body stretch. Then just roll over onto your right side in the fetal position. Take a couple of breaths right there just to reacclimate to our space. The sights, the sounds, and then we'll come back to you. Take as long as you need right there. Then when you're ready, more than you're ready, push yourself out into seated. Really close here. off just with our two Pomari breaths and then an Om. Pomari breath, we inhale as we exhale, make that humming sound in the throat. The Om is the universal syllable that uses all parts of the throat. You can join me in these breaths, or if you'd rather just listen, then just listen. Well, let's close our eyes here. We'll inhale together. Hmm. drift open. Bring your hands to heart center. Thank you, all of you, for sharing your energy, your practice with me this evening. The light in me honors the light in each of you. Namaste. Right. And I will see you all on Saturday for some slow flow, 10 a.m., so come join me then. Um, Angie's here tomorrow if you want more yin at 9 a.m., so come join her for that. I hope you all have a great Western week. Bye.